Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. I am the horror show host. And much like from reel to wheel, I have a new segment on my show called From a Remote to Vote. So it'll be us watching a movie at the house, then afterwards we'll give a mini review, and then, uh, she didn't know about that part, and uh, then we'll just give our thoughts if we should vote, to, if we would vote to ever see it again, or skip it. So uh, I've already seen the movie we're going to be doing. It's called The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, and uh, she has it. It's a Dario Argento film from 1970, and uh, let's see what we're having to eat, drink, and then we'll start the movie. Say your name. Mom. <laughs> and there's Finley trying to eat food. We're having, speaking of food, we're having chili. And what's the beverage called? Uh, Bailey's Strawberry Cream. There's the remote, that the titular remote. Bailey's Strawberry and Cream. Some booze with the who's. And let's begin. But before we get into it, make sure to comment on, like, and share this video, as well as hit the notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, even a dollar a month will go a long way. Another thing about Patreon is that if you donate just a dollar, you will be given access to my kill count videos. Uh, sci-fi creatures music videos, and any new content I make that is like that, that I fear will be given age restrictions or copyright notices on my channel. So, trying to keep Horror Show Host alive while still posting those videos, you will be given access to them on Patreon. Just donate a dollar. The links to those two sites will be in the description below, and as always, subscribe. Alright, let's get into this. Don't question it. <laughs> hey, I remember showing you this opening, actually. Yes, I know I've seen this part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of big keys, don't you think? Kind of like her tits. Oh, Brian. <laughs> I was supposed to cigarette while I'm dead. I mean, I think, I know there was a thing to do back then. So we're almost done with the movie. It's been about an hour and uh, 11 minutes or so. Uh, and we just, it doesn't reveal who the killer is till the end. So I'm not gonna spoil that. I This is really the fifth time I've watched the movie. And uh, I've picked up pretty much everything that led to who the killer is. Um, but it's still an enjoyable watch and I thought you might enjoy it, so. I think it needs to um, which one? Oh, the one that th what, the that's the friend. Oh, the what do you think? Well, what about the guy who took the tape? I don't know. I don't think it's him. You th why do you think it's the detective? I just do. I have a feeling. Uh, is there any evidence to support your theory? No, I just have a feeling. But I could be wrong. I mean, the best evidence we have is the guy, the friend. It was, it was like, took the tape? Uh, that I was talking to them in the beginning. I took their tape. Yeah, I think that's probably the best evidence we have. Yeah, other than that... I just have that feeling, but I probably told you wrong. I usually know. The first time I watched, my mind was blown. This is not going to make me happy if something happens to her. I hope she keeps the girl. Oh, who the hell is that? Is that the friend. Who is the friend? Nope. With the detective? Mm -hmm. It's not the game he guy. <laughs> oh! Oh! You would finally kill your husband. Up the other way around. That's why it blew my mind when I first oh, saw it. That's why he was trying to cover it. Yeah, he was trying to cover it up. He, he wasn't really, I don't know if he was really killing people well, or not. Well, it kind of was weird because he was like, 
I love, you know, to take care of her, I love her. I'm like, well, that would make sense that he's trying to cover for her. Yeah. So we just finished watching The Bird with the Crystal Plumage from director Dario Argento. His first feature was made in 1970. Uh, what do you think? I thought it was much better than I anticipated it would be. A lot more entertaining than movies of this time? Like most movies of this time? Yeah, I'd say so. I think the camera work really helps with it. It's always moving. It's never like stationary. But you suspected uh, the friend, then the detective, and then the girl, right? Was that the order or was it different? I thought the detective. Then I was like, maybe it is the friend. And I really didn't expect it to be her. Yeah. I, um, like I said, when it came up, it blew my mind when I saw it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very unique kind of style of filmmaking. There's a lot to say about these kind of movies, and I'm trying to figure out what to say. Um, what, do you, what did you like about it besides the uh, mystery and the reveal? I thought the acting wasn't too bad, especially for being dubbed. Yeah, well, I think, mo I think they were all dubbed, and they said their lines in after. That's yeah, but it, it, didn't, it wasn't... Um, Are there, I don't it, think it was done terribly. Sometimes it, I don't... Sometimes I have a real hard time watching those. Usually, um, they would record a movie without sound, and then they'd add everything in after. But I'm not sure this, that was the case with this, because um, they didn't sound as hokey as some other ones. Uh, what was your favorite scene? Um, Besides the, um, the reveal. Hmm. When he found out he was eating cats. Yeah. That was pretty weird. Um, Plus, I thought his hair was kind of funny looking. It, I don't think it was a wig, to be honest. It just looked funny. Yeah. Uh, what's my favorite scene? I'd have to say, for right now, my favorite scene is when they reveal it's, a, it's the sound they're hearing as a bird. Oh, okay. It said so, so nonchalantly, and if you don't pick up on it, um, you'll... Well, they don't really say, uh... I forgot, kind of forgot about the title until they mentioned that. The bird, yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah. Bird, it makes yeah, sense, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise it makes no sense. Right, so I guess, I, and I kind of forgot about the name of it until... Yeah. Because you don't really know why it's named that until we find it. Yeah, some of his films are like that, not all of them. Um, oh, what is another good scene? There's a whole bunch of good scenes. I like... I don't really. One thing I don't really care for is the assassin scene that they hired someone to kill him, so they it wouldn't look like it was the same killers. And then you find the assassin dead later. I just feel it was kind of a pointless scene. So from remote to vote, which do you vote? Uh, what would you give the set of five as a vote? Three point five. I'd probably give it a four, maybe a three point five. Um, would you vote to watch it again? Yeah, but not anytime soon, just because right. I like to rewatch stuff. Right. And would you vote to watch more of these kind of movies? Yeah. Yeah? I, I, I kind I of... I prefer this length, though, much longer. I no, they don't get too long. The, yeah. the Cat and Tales is pretty long. Um, I knew you would kind of like it because... Um, I mean, I kind of knew you would like it because it's not um, something so outlandish in the, the Italian genre. Like, it's not over the top. It's not badly dubbed. It's just the right balance there's some quirkiness to it but it adds to the film's charm i think right so you give it a 3.5 out of 5 i give it a 3.5 or 4 out of 5 um thank you all for watching uh remote to vote and uh let me know down in the description below whether you have seen this film and liked it or just like this yellow genre in general or if you don't like it and as always subscribe <laughs>